northern bomb site was used by the United States Army Air Force during World War II. It was an early tachometric design that directly measured the aircraft's ground speed and direction, which older sites could only estimate with manual procedures. The Northern further improved an older design by using an analog computer that continuously recalculated the bomb's impact point based on changing flight conditions and an autopilot that reacted quickly and accurately to changes in the wind or other effects. Together, these features promise unprecedented accuracy for daytime bombing from high altitudes. During pre-war testing, the Northern demonstrated a circular error probable of 23 meters, an astonishing performance for that period. This precision would enable direct attacks on factories and other point targets. To protect these advantages, the Northern was granted the utmost secrecy and was part of a production effort on a similar scale as the Manhattan Project. In spite of the security precautions, the entire Northern system had been passed to Germany even before the war started. This intelligence operation was led by Major Nikolaus Ritter, chief of the Abwehr Air Intelligence Section, who led spy rings in the United States and Great Britain from 1936 to 1941. After World War I, Ritter immigrated to the United States and found employment in New York. In 1935, he returned to Germany and joined the Abwehr, the German military intelligence. Admiral Wilhelm Canaris, the head of the Abwehr, instructed Ritter to return to New York and organize a spy ring. As a case officer, his most important agent was Hermann Lang. Until his arrest, Lang had been employed by the Karl Norden Corporation, which manufactured the top secret Norden bomb site. Lang worked as a draftsman and assembly inspector. He provided Ritter a large drawing of the Norden bomb site, which Ritter stored inside of a Holocaine umbrella and that he took back to Germany by ship. The Germans proceeded to build a model from the drawings and later brought Lang to Germany to work on and finish an improved version of the bomb site. Abwehr offered him to settle in Germany, but Lang refused to leave his home and return to the US. He became a member of the so-called Duquesne spy ring, headed by Frederick Fritz Duquesne. It was the largest espionage case in the United States history that ended in convictions. A total of 33 members of the network were convicted after a lengthy investigation by the FBI. Upon conviction, Lang received a sentence of 18 years in prison on espionage charges. He was deported to Germany in September of 1950. German instruments were fairly similar to the Northern even before the war. The Car Zeiss Lotfenrohr 7 or Lotfe 7 was an advanced mechanical system similar to the Northern bomb site. It started replacing the earlier designs from 1942 and emerged as the primary late war bomb site used in most of Luftwaffe level bombers. The use of the autopilot allowed single-handed operation and was key to bombing use of the single crewed Arado 234, the world first jet bomber. In 1945, 3rd US Army came up a hidden factory in the Alps and captured the factory used to produce the German version of the Northern bombsite.